On a cold, dark night, a boy was trying to find his way home when he realized he had stumbled into a cemetery. He frantically looked for the exit, but around every turn was just more graves. Exhausted and scared, he slumped down in front of a small grave and started to cry. Suddenly, a strange light caught his eye, and he looked up to see a figure approaching. She was carrying an old lantern as she made her way through the graves. The boy asked the stranger to help him find his way out. The stranger looked down on him. She promised him that if he would listen to the stories about three different graves without running away, she would help him find his way home. The boy wiped away his tears and followed the stranger. She led him through the graveyard to a large, ornate grave and began the first tale. There once was an old man who was terrified of death. He used his considerable riches to turn his house into an impenetrable fortress, where no one could get in and cause him harm. One day, while checking the locks in his fortress, the old man fell and broke his leg. He called for help, but because no one could get in, he died from what should have been a minor injury. Now, he's doomed to haunt his own tomb, warning off anyone who gets too close. The boy rolled his eyes. He knew ghosts didn't exist and thought the stranger was just trying to scare him. He took a step closer to the grave. Suddenly, with an unearthly will, the ghost of the old man appeared, broken leg and all. He wanted to run away as fast as he could, but he knew he still had to hear two more stories. The stranger ushered him to the next grave in the oldest part of the cemetery. There once was a strict school teacher who taught children in an old classroom in the middle of the woods. One day, when a storm was approaching, the children all begged to go home. The storm raged, blowing out the lanterns that lit the classroom. The children ran around frantically and bumped into the school teacher, spilling ink all over her blouse. The storm grew worse and worse until it blew away the schoolhouse, killing the school teacher and all the children in the process. In penance, the school teacher is now forced to wander the cemetery for eternity, helping children find their way to the afterlife. Then, the stranger opened her jacket, revealing an old-fashioned blouse covered in black ink. The boy realized the stranger was the ghost of the school teacher. He almost ran away, but he was so cold and tired so he mustered up his courage and followed the dead school teacher to the last grave. It was the same small one she'd found him at. She began the final tale. Once there was a boy who thought he'd live forever. His parents warned him to always come home before dark. One moonless night, he lost track of time and found himself headed home in total blackness. He wandered the woods for hours, completely lost, until finally he saw a light up ahead. He ran to it, only realizing too late that the light was actually the headlights of a truck. He was killed instantly. But even then, the little boy refused to believe he was dead. He wandered the cemetery each night, looking for a way home until he could finally accept his death. The school teacher set down the lantern and the boy saw the name on the gravestone. It was his name. The school teacher offered her hand to the boy, but instead of taking it, he ran away, screaming. He wasn't dead. He wasn't dead. He wasn't dead. The next night, the lost boy was trying to find his way home again when he realized he had stumbled into a cemetery.